In recent years, Mexican drug cartels have shifted their focus. No longer just trafficking drugs, they are now major players in human smuggling across the US-Mexico border. This shift isn't random, it's profitable, bringing in as much as $13 billion a year. Through control of key border regions, cartels fuel violence, corruption, and exploitation. In places like Ciudad Hidalgo, they even fence in migrants, demanding ransoms before release. This development is a significant challenge for U.S. border security and humanitarian organizations. It underscores an urgent need for comprehensive strategies to tackle both human and drug trafficking and protect vulnerable lives. For decades, Mexican cartels were all about narcotics trafficking. But recently, they've diversified, moving heavily into human smuggling. Their control over border territories has made it easier to operate, transforming what used to be a scattered activity handled by independent coyotes into a centralized, violent industry. As cartels expand their reach, violence, corruption, and exploitation rise, posing serious obstacles for U.S. security and humanitarian efforts. Controlling the migration flow, cartels often use extreme measures like detaining migrants in fence camps until families pay ransom. As of October 2024, the Sinaloa and Jalisco New Generation cartels dominate human smuggling. They maintain this power through violence, corruption, and alliances with officials, and migrants are frequently kidnapped, held for ransom, or forced into labor. Their reach doesn't stop at the border, it affects all of Mexico and Central America. Chiapas, a southern Mexican state, sees daily violence as these cartels battle for control, exploiting migrants along the way. This aggressive approach has turned human smuggling into a well-oiled, violent industry. Addressing this crisis demands strategic solutions that disrupt these operations and protect vulnerable people. Operational control. Cartels strictly oversee smuggling routes, controlling who crosses and at what cost. Violence and intimidation enforce their monopoly, with some migrants detained until ransoms are paid. Financial incentives. Human smuggling rivals drug trafficking and profitability. Cartels charge high fees for passage, generating billions in revenue annually, with estimates reaching $13 billion. Corruption and complicity, cartels collaborate with corrupt officials, undermining law enforcement. Financial institutions have even processed cartel transactions despite anti-money laundering protocols. Humanitarian impact, migrants face life-threatening risks, including abuse, death, and exploitation. The 2021 Camargo massacre, where 19 migrants were killed, starkly highlights the brutality of these operations. Increased border violence, cartels fighting over routes lead to higher violence levels in border regions, endangering both migrants and local communities. Strain on U.S. resources, cartel-facilitated migration overwhelms U.S. border security and immigration systems, leading to humanitarian crises. In Ciudad Hidalgo, cartels fence in migrants, holding them for ransom. Policy implications, the cartel's involvement complicates U.S. immigration policy, requiring a comprehensive approach that tackles both border security and the root causes of migration. The growing role of Mexican cartels in human smuggling is a major shift with deep impacts on U.S. national security and regional stability. Their grip on migration routes worsens violence, corruption, and human suffering, straining existing border control systems. The human toll is immense, migrants live in fear of violence, exploitation, and extortion. Solving this will require strong security efforts and international cooperation to address the root causes of migration. Enhanced intelligence sharing, increased collaboration between U.S. and Mexican law enforcement to dismantle smuggling networks. Real-time data sharing could intercept smuggling before migrants are harmed. Targeted sanctions, apply financial sanctions to cartel members and affiliated entities involved in human smuggling. Redirecting focus to financial enforcement disrupts cartel revenue streams. Humanitarian initiatives invest in safe migration programs that address economic and social issues in Central America and Mexico, reducing the migration pressure that fuels smuggling. Anti-corruption measures support efforts to combat corruption in Mexican institutions, decreasing cartel influence. Enhanced training and resources for law enforcement are critical. Public awareness campaigns inform potential migrants about the dangers of cartel-controlled smuggling. Campaigns could highlight safer alternatives and expose the real dangers posed by these criminal networks.